Hello, Practical English, All Trends, Episode 3. Практически английский, старые друзья, эпизод 3. Permission and requests. Разрешение и просьбы. Jenny has coffee with a friend. In this first, a third Practical English lesson, students learn some key phrases for asking for permission and to do something and asking other people to do something for you. В этой части мы будем учиться просить разрешения, просить помощи и чтобы что-то для вас сделали. In the first scene, Jenny meets Monica, an old friend, in the street and they have a coffee together. Okay. Watch or listen to Jenny and Monica. What's Monica's news? Послушаем, как Дженни встречает свою давнюю подругу. Монику. Какие у Моники новости? Моника? Jenny! <gasps> oh! Wow, how are you? You look great. Thanks, Jenny. You look really good, too. Hey, why don't we get some coffee? Uh, I'd love to, but I'm on the way to meet... Oh, come on. <laughs> Five minutes! <laughs> so, how is everything? Oh, great! Things couldn't be better, actually. Scott and I, we're getting married. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Congratulations! Oh, thank you. <laughs> When did you get engaged? Only a few days ago. I'm glad I saw you, actually. I was going to call you. We've only told family so far. Oh, I can't believe it. Mm. Monica, the wife. And to think you used to go clubbing every night. <laughs> well, that was a few years ago. All I want to do now is stay in and read wedding magazines. <laughs> <laughs> and how are the plans coming along? Oh, I haven't done anything yet. My mom and Scott's mom want to organize the whole thing themselves. <sighs> That's what mothers are for. <laughs> True. But what about you? You look fantastic. Oh, well, I guess I'm kind of happy too. Uh-huh. What's his name? Rob. Oh, you've been keeping him very quiet. Is it serious? Uh, it's kind of, you know. So it is. It's still early. We haven't been together for long. He only moved here from London a few months ago. What? He's British? And you think you couldn't persuade him to stay in New York? That won't be easy. I think he likes it here. You know how guys are. You never know what they're thinking. Hmm. When can I meet him? Uh, that's him now. Okay, now watch you listen again and answer the questions. Who's Scott? When did they get engaged? And etc. Be ready with the answers. А теперь ответьте на вопросы. Будьте готовы на уроке дать ответ. Two, permission and requests. Uh, watch or listen. What favor does Rob ask Jenny? Слушаем. А о а какой услуге Роб просит Дженни? 5.24 Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Come on, sit down. Thank you. I have to leave in a minute anyway. Uh, could I have a large latte, please? Of course. Rob, this is Monica. Nice to meet you, Rob. You too, Monica. You know, Jenny talks about you a lot. And I've seen college photos of you two together at Jenny's parents' house. Oh, of course you have. My dad's photos? Ah. <laughs> You've hardly changed at all. What a nice man. I can see why you like him, Jenny. The perfect English gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Your latte. Oh, thanks. Can you pass the sugar? Sure. Mm. Oh, sorry, guys, but I have to go. 
Oh, you sure I haven't interrupted anything? Not at all. It's just that I have to meet someone. But let's get together very soon. We will. Bye, Rob. Nice meeting you. Bye. Bye. Talk soon. She seems like a happy person. She is. Especially right now. She's getting married. <laughs> That's fantastic news. Yeah, it is. I guess we're at that age now, when most of our friends are settling down and getting married. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of friends, I want to ask you a favor. Is it okay if we change our plans a bit this week? Um, sure. What's up? I've just had a call from an old friend of mine, Paul. I haven't seen him since we were at university, and he's traveling around the States at the moment. Anyway, he's arriving in New York this evening, and uh, I've invited him to stay for the week. Cool. It'll be fun to meet one of your old friends. What's he like? Oh, Paul's a laugh. He used to be a bit wild, but that was a long time ago. He's probably changed completely. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting him. Just one other thing. Could you do me a big favor? I have to work late this evening, so would you mind meeting him at the airport? Not at all. I'd like to meet him. And do you think you could take him to my flat? I'll give you the keys. No problem, Rob. Thanks so much, Jenny. You're a real star. Okay, now watch a listen again and mark the sentences true or false and correct the false sentences. Послушайте еще раз и отметьте предложение правда или ложь. И исправьте лживые. Like Rob orders a cappuccino, or Rob says Monica looks different from her photos, and etc. Be ready with your answers. Okay, now look at some extracts from the conversation. Can you remember any of the missing words? Watch or listen and check. Посмотрите на отрывки. Можете вспомнить uh, слова, которые были пропущены? Давайте пропустим. Послушаем еще раз и заполним пропуски. 5.25 Asking permission 1 Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Come on, sit down. 2 Is it okay if we change our plans a bit this week? Uh, sure. Requests. Asking someone to do something. Three. Can you pass the sugar? Sure. Four. Could you do me a big favor? I have to work late this evening, so would you mind meeting him at the airport? Not at all. I'd like to meet him. Five. And do you think you could take him to my flat? I'll give you the keys. No problem, Rob. Okay, these phrases uh, could be done in written form. Okay, now look at the highlighted phrases and see and answer, answer the questions. А теперь посмотрите на те фразы, которые выделены желтым. Здесь и ответьте на вопросы. How do you respond to do you mind if and would you mind? When you mean okay, no problem. And which forms of request should you use if you want to be very polite or asking a very big favor? Okay, now I'll listen and repeat the highlighted phrases and copy the rhythm and intonation. 5.26 1. Do you mind if I join you? Of course not. Two. Is it okay if... Uh, sure. Three. Can you pass the sugar? Sure. Four. Could you do me a big favor? Would you mind meeting him? Not at all. Five. Do you think you could take him? No problem. Okay, and now we do communication. Could you do me a favor? Page 107. 
Practical English 3. Could you do me a favor? Okay, now look at the verb phrases below. Choose two things you would like somebody to do for you. Think about any details. For example, what kind of dog is it is, how much money you need, and etc. Итак, посмотрите на фразы ниже. Выберите несколько а, и подумайте, что бы для вас могли сделать. Продумайте детали. Ну, какая это может быть собака или сколько денег вы хотите. And ask as many other students as possible. Be polite. Could you do me a big favor? Would you mind? Do you think you could? And explain why you want the favor. How many people agree to help you? Uh, я буду опрашивать уже на нашем уроке в Zoom. Постарайтесь быть вежливыми. Используйте вот следующие фразы. Объясните, почему вам нужна эта услуга. Постарайтесь uh, звучать ну, более-менее правдоподобно. Что это за фразы? Look after. Присмотреть. За кем? Your children, your dog for the weekend, your flat while you're away. За собакой, детьми, пока вы... или за квартирой. Lend you. Одолжить. Some money, their car, etc. Одолжить что? Деньги, машину. Give you a lift. Подвести. Home to the town center, etc. Куда? Домой, в центр. Help you with the problem, with your homework, to paint your flat, to choose, to choose some new clothes. Uh, помочь с какой-то проблемой, с домашкой, красть квартиру, выбрать новую одежду. Try to sound real, and uh, you may ask something unreal too. Uh, and choose as much phrases as you can. Можно звучать реально, можно нереально просить о чем-то, но совершенно невозможно. Будем учиться просить, соглашаться и отказывать. Three. Paul arrives. Watch a listen. How do Rob and Jenny feel about Paul's arrival? Итак, приезжает Пол. Слушаем, как себя чувствуют Дженни и Пол по поводу приезда Дженни и Роб по поводу приезда Пола. Five point twenty-seven. Hey, man. Paul! <laughs> it's great to see you, mate. You too, Paul. It's been years. You haven't changed at all. <laughs> Just got better looking. How come you're so late? Paul's flight from L.A. was delayed, and then the traffic coming back was just awful. But that gave us time to get to know each other. Yeah. Paul told me all about his travels. Every detail. And look at this. Your own New York flat. How cool is that? It's good. Really good. But do you want something to eat? I got some things on my way home. Stay in? It's my first night in the Big Apple. Let's go out and have a pizza or something. I thought you'd be tired after the flight. No way, man. I'm ready for action. Great. I'll get my jacket. Uh, Rob, I think I'll go home if you don't mind. I, uh, I'm exhausted. Oh. Okay, then. So it's a boys night out. Just like the old days. <laughs> And after the pizza, we can go on somewhere else. Rob, we've got a lot to talk about. <laughs> okay, listen again and circle the correct answer. Послушайте еще раз, обведите правильный ответ. Paul's appearance has changed a lot or hasn't changed. And etc. Let's go on and there are some social English phrases. Can you remember any of the missing words? Paul, it's great to see you. Okay, and then complete the phrases. Listen. 5.28 1. It's great to see you, mate. 2. How come you're so late? Three. No way, man. Four. Rob, I think I'll go home if you don't mind. Five. Just like the old days. Six. Rob, we've got a lot to talk about. Okay, now complete the conversation from A to F with social English phrases from 1 to 6. Then practice them with a the partner. Итак, вставляем сюда фразы. 
а потом на уроке будем практиковаться. Please read, be ready with the phrases. And the last task, can you use different expressions to ask permission to do something and respond? Use different expressions to ask another person to do something and respond. Greet someone you haven't seen for a long time. И в конце этого урока вы должны уметь использовать разные выражения, чтобы просить разрешения или помочь в чем-то, уметь ответить. Использовать выражения, чтобы попросить о помощи, уметь отвечать и приветствовать кого-то, кого вы долго не видели. Okay, thank you, that's it. We'll do practical part during our Zoom meeting. See you then. Bye-bye.